What's going on you guys? My name is Brobson and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a mount called the Drake of the North Wind in World of Warcraft. The reins of the Drake of the North Wind are dropped about 0.8% of the time by Alteris, who is the second boss in a dungeon called the Vortex Pinnacle. The mount can be dropped on either normal or heroic mode, so you can farm this mount by running the normal mode dungeon 10 times every single hour. The Vortex Pinnacle dungeon was released in Cataclysm, so in 2015 at level 100 you will find it very easy to complete this dungeon and farm this mount, as you'll be able to one hit pretty much every piece of trash and even boss inside of Vortex Pinnacle. First, I'll show you how to get to the dungeon entrance. The Vortex Pinnacle is located in Oldham, and since my hearthstone's in Dalaran, I simply take the portal from Dalaran's Violet Citadel to the Caverns of Time in Tenaris, and then fly southwest from Tenaris into Oldham. As you can see from the clip on screen, while flying southwest from Tenaris to Oldham, you can see the Vortex Pinnacle from a very very far ways away up in the sky, so simply fly towards it. The Vortex Pinnacle is located in southeastern Oldham, and as long as you keep flying southwest from Tenaris, you should reach it in no time at all. Once you've set your dungeon difficulty to normal, you're ready to head inside and begin progressing through the Vortex Pinnacle. Keep in mind that this dungeon was released in Cataclysm, so all of the mob's levels are in the low 80s, and at level 100 in Warlords of Draenor it should be very easy for you to one-hit pretty much everything inside of this dungeon. For that reason, I'd recommend setting up as many instant cast AoE abilities and as many damaging abilities that you can use on the move as possible. That way, instead of having to slow down your run by stopping to clear each pack of mobs, you can continue running through the dungeon, killing things as you go, without having to slow down at all. You want to cross the first bridge, then go west down the spiral and cross the second bridge while killing all the mobs on the run. Once you've crossed the second bridge and killed the pack there, you want to go up the stairs to encounter the first boss named Grand Vixir Ertan. Again, you can one-hit Grand Vixir Ertan, so just use an instant cast ability to get him down, and then run southeast to the vortex in the sky. Click this vortex, which is located just off the platform, and you'll be shot between three vortices and sent to the next platform, which leads you to the second boss, Alteris, which is the one that drops the mount. The path from here to Alteris is extremely straightforward. Just run up the spiral to the east, kill the dragon, cross the bridge, kill the next dragon, and then you'll find Alteris up that next spiral. Before killing Alteris, you may want to stop for a moment and pray to the RNG gods, because again, this is an extremely rare mount. It's a 1 in 125 drop chance, or about 0.8%. Alteris is another one-hit boss, so simply one-hit him and then loot to see if you got the mount. Assuming the answer is no, you don't need to run back through the dungeon to get to the entrance to reset it. You can simply jump off the platform anywhere, uh, just jump off the map literally, and you will be taken back to the dungeon entrance. You won't die, it's just really convenient, you'll be sent right back to the entrance. So you can simply leave via the portal, then go ahead and reset your dungeons, and go back in to start it all over again. Again, this dungeon can be run 10 times per hour, so you can get 10 chances every single hour at getting this mount. I wouldn't recommend running the dungeon over and over and over again until you get the mount because you'll definitely burn out and hate the game by the end of the grind unless you get extremely lucky and get it early on, but this can be a great thing to do while waiting for queues. If you're queuing for heroic dungeons or waiting for your Ashran queues to happen, uh, it's a great way to just, instead of sitting in your garrison doing nothing, spend some time actually going for some mounts and farming for some really cool stuff. That's pretty much it for this guide though guys, that's all the information there is on the Drake of the North Wind, so good luck with the grind. Again, don't get your hopes up too high because the drop rate is extremely low, but uh, eventually if you do this thing a couple times each day, you will eventually get the mount as a drop, and it's a really cool one to add to your collection. Make sure you leave some feedback below in the comments section if you enjoyed the video, found it helpful, entertaining, informative, or anything else, feel free to let me know. And if not, leave a dislike and let me know in the comments why you didn't enjoy it. Either way, leave your feedback. I look forward to seeing the like to dislike ratio on this one, and have a good day, guys. I will see you in the next video.